So next match after that, Goddess titles match, titles matches, or Goddess title match, uh, seven up, Nanai and you versus my hey, hey. This is a this good time to bring every, it up. This match is everything I wanted and more. Um, another big spot for seven up and another four and a quarter or better match uh, from them. Um, like from the tag league final against uh, Kamatani and Utami to Sumo Hall when they won the belts from Kama, or sorry, from uh, Tam and Nasapoy to uh, this, like, I don't think I don't think a, I've seen a stardom tag team have three like big matches that were this good in a, like three in a row like this. Mm-hmm. Um, there, you know, we'll see where the rest of this goes uh, as far as how much longer they'll have the titles or are they you know they've earned the right to stay as a top tag team because they definitely have in my opinion as far as their match quality, but they're fucking awesome and like the, so this match starts where like. Um, Hameka, they're, they're starting out hot, and then Hameka goes for, like, a running, like, a dang O'Brien running knee off the apron, and, like, she lands high on the nigh on the floor, and she lands, and she immediately clutches her knee, and you think, like, she just blew her knee. Like, I'm sitting there thinking she just blew her fucking knee, and they're gonna have to wrestle this, they're gonna have to blow this, you know, stop this match. Uh, and I, I was like, I felt bad for her, felt terrible, and then, um, and then, you know, after about a minute, I realized I was worked. Um, like they basically left uh, Micah out there to uh, basically tag in, or, or the match didn't get started. She didn't tag in. She basically started the match, and she's fighting for her life against the Nye and you in separate occasions by herself until Micah gets up on the corner, and then Micah basically goes to a closing stretch with uh, the Nye, and they kick out of the damnness of, of, of finishers until the Nye finally hit uh, beats her with the Nana Racker, and it was fucking awesome. Um, like this was like you know this was some of the this was some of the best of Hameka in the ring. Like when you saw her against uh, Shuri last year, or with you know the end of that Kamatani uh, white belt match where she's just like she's on fire, and the crowd was dying for uh, Mahime to win the tag titles back or win them again, and uh, this ultimately didn't happen because the night put her away. But like that match, that closing stretch was awesome. Um, and the nine and you, they're just another another four and a quarter. The throw on the throw on to the thing, and yeah, they're just they're just awesome together. Um, and like it doesn't matter who's closing the match, whether it's Nia or it's you, that closing stretch is gonna be off the charts. Mm-hmm. Um, they're just great, and like you know, the Nia probably can't or just can't do it at you know that high level as a single anymore. But you give her the space to have the closing stretch, she can still do the closing stretch like she was doing like before she fucked up her ankle, it, and she's she's fucking great. Um, and Hameka's great, and I guess I guess now should we talk about it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Hameka earlier this week or or, or last week announced that she uh, will be retiring from pro wrestling and entertainment, and will now just live life as a civilian. Um, and we haven't really had like a full on retirement in stardom in a minute. Been a while. Um, it, yeah, it, like you know. Konami, she's semi-retired, if you will, or or whatever. In like Jungle, she's she's still wrestling. Um, you know, like the last one, really. Um, I guess case Kagetsu. Yeah. Um. And 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 it, and it, and it stinks because like this is somebody that, like over the last year particularly has improved one of the more improved wrestlers in the world, like from the sense of not. I think personally, like very similar to when people will, like vote for like um, most improved player for an NBA, like the jump from like starter or st- jump from like ground floor to the second floor is high, but like the is more advanced and more pronounced when you go from like you're on the third floor and you get to the fourth floor. Mm-hmm. And I think that like she was always a very good tag wrestler, but she wasn't a, some slam dunk of a singles wrestler um, until last year in her title challenges. And she was just, she was great. And then, um, you know, the last match um, or her final match of the Grand Prix with Micah, that match was great. You know, when they ended up in the, the, uh, the tournament draw 
And I'm just like, and, you know, I thought that, you know, I really wanted, you know, her to her and Micah to win the uh, tag league this year and get, you know, that, that tag title run that was long that like they didn't get when they had it the first time. And it's not, it's not going to happen, but like, I, I now I see why they, they didn't win and like why they went with what they went with, because like they, they knew that she was winding down. Um, but like, yeah, I just, um, a person that came to stardom and improved as a wrestler and like, had some, you know, had some great, was a member of a lot of great teams and a lot of great, like, tag matches. And, like, even, like, in the last, you know, her last year, like, had some, her best matches from a singles perspective. And I thought, like, she just, um, she just kept improving. And um, it's, it sucks that, like, we don't need to see, like, where it could have ended up. But she um, she has enough, like, for the catalog to um, to talk about. Yeah, I really started becoming a big fan of hers last summer. And it was just, like, you know, from that time forward, I thought she was like the best big woman, like in wrestling. Yeah. Um, and Especially she had her Jamie. Yeah. Like she had such a, uh, like I remember dubbing her, like she was the, uh, the she was she was like she was the woman on the girls basketball team that wore number 54 that held down a lane was big as hell and tough as hell and you couldn't move her right and she wore the big ass knee brace or whatever right uh the andrew bynum joint but <laughs> she uh you know I, I i was into Mecca like for sure like she was she like she had a fan in me and uh uh, hopefully she gets to whoop Nasa play again on the way out. Um, but, uh, yeah, like everything you said, like I, I really enjoyed her match with Sherry last year. Um, and I think she just like made a lot of like a lot of strides. And it was just like I, I woke up and saw she was retiring. I was just like, oh, yeah, they do have those early retirements that still can yeah. happen here. Like, she's it, like it was like a 25? reminder. Yeah, she's like 25. Um, yeah. yeah, and uh, Keen brings a great point. We got to cherish uh, people while they're still here because, like, you know, it could be over in a, in a flash, like, um, with almost anyone. So, um, yeah. you know, best wishes to her. And, um, you know, you know, if she comes back one day, cool. You know, if not, uh, you know, there's there's lots of uh, I think she leaves a lot of good tape to study from. And I would have loved to, like, have sent someone like Jay Cargill over to her and figure it out. And, you know, but that ship has sailed. Um, you know, Micah and, and Hameka is a, uh, I think is a tag team that I think a lot of, all of us can really appreciate now. Um, and seeing like, you know, this is Kane and Undertaker, you know, but imagine if they were good, <laughs> you know, that's what, that's what Micah and Hameka is to me, you know, Kane and Undertaker, but they're good. So, so I think that, um, you know, now that we mentioned the, uh, we mentioned like her progress as a singles wrestler, she was always a very good tag wrestler. And like, my Hime was one of my favorite tag teams in the world. Um, they, they're just two big, tough women that just club and pound the shit out of you and re- expect the same in return. And like, I'm gonna miss it. I'm really gonna miss it. Like, they, they, they were, you know, I, um, I officially called them the Bash Sister sisters for for a few years um jml calls them the regulators because they i mean that's yep. what they do they they, they, they uh, number straightening jml did um, a uh, pretty good thread uh talking about Hameka too yeah like um they 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 really became one of my favorite tag teams and i remember uh i think you know last year they had their great match to go at the end of you know one of the best shows of the year last year that grand prix final and i said like they had that time limit draw and they basically picked each other up, and they basically walked off, walked up the ramp together, and smiling at like all oh, this was a good ass with the competition. And I was remember saying like, I never want to see them break up. I never want to see them. I actually said I never want to see them not be a tag team. And I double negative. That's what and I meant that shit. Like, uh, like there. I heard something like Hameka, like it. You know, part of the reason like she's laying it down is like she. Uh, I don't know if I had this right, but uh, she had felt she had gone as far as she could go in stardom. I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Um, and I'm still sad. While while I, while she's probably accurate in that, I am um, I'm sad that she's gone. Because um, she she's someone that's going to be, you know, they would put her on the marquee, on the on the big poster. She's a big head. She would be a big head. Um, uh, but yeah, like, just... Um, From from the Natsupoi or sorry, Natsupoi from the from the My Hemipoi stuff 
to my Hime, whether you know the trios or the tag team, like they put in they put in some great matches over the last couple years. Uh, whether it's that that trios team or as a tag team, and um, like thinking of like you know you see they put they put teams together and you see how the chemistry works and vibes work off each other, but like but from day one when like Micah, you know she was a number three in the original three for Domino Mondo and the number four comes in is Hameka. Like from almost day one, they put her in there um, with, with Micah and they basically were inseparable like off screen or like on these like uh, behind the scenes things. Like they became like the best of pro wrestling friends. Um, and like they, they were just so great together and they, you could tell they had a genuine bond and I'm going in like to see that they, they're, that the scheduled match or she requested that um, her last match be with Micah at the Yokohama, at the big Yokohama arena show. And I was just like, y'all just, y'all just want, y'all just want to get a cry, huh? That's, that's what it is. Y'all just want to see, y'all just, that, this is what you're doing, huh? I, I see y'all. That's disgusting. Look, most discussion of promotional tactic, making today's boy cry. Y'all, <laughs> I see what y'all doing. That's really gross. That's really nasty. But uh, yeah, like I, I can't work. wait to see it. That's going to be really emotional. And physical, it's gonna be both. Yeah, they're gonna leave it out there. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be some real Alan Iverson. Bump. It's gonna be some real Alan Iverson. Yeah, ass gonna be whooped in that ring, um, <laughs> with love. Um, but yeah, like I mean, I think my I think my favorite moment between them, my favorite like my him interaction was uh this actual um past tag league. So they're there for the press conference for it, and they're together, and like. Micah, Micah, like they say they're gonna win it, and you know, like when you win the the tag league, they have like uh tandem rings, like you know, putting your rings, you know, that's like your trophy, like they give you rings with the the uh, in the shape of uh the tag titles on the on the rings. They started mm-hmm. that in twenty twenty, and um, so Micah starts talking, and she's like, "We got this in the bag because we're bonded," and like she she grabs my she grabs Hameka's hand. Micah takes off one of the rings on her hands and Micah puts a ring on it. <laughs> and that was one of, so I, I just like, you know, they fake they even, you know, they so close to even fake married. So it's like, yeah, that's that's just such a great bond and closeness. And like it's gonna it's gonna be rough when uh like by the end of that match. It's gonna be real rough to watch that. It really is. But um, you know, she wants out and like that's gonna be a great match regardless. So I uh, can't wait to see it. Hate to see her go, but this is what she wants, and um, you know, hope her, hope, her, hope, wish her the best, cause, like you said, she basically became the best big woman in wrestling, like over this last year. Just, just a lot of work put into it and everything. Um, a lot of work put into it, like, and like, it's really hard to see women like her bump like that, like women her size bump like that. She's just, spe- she, I, you know, like the Vince Man meme. She, she was special, like in that kind of rare, rare breed of like. You had this six eight woman that can bump around like she's Sasha Banks. That's that's unusual. It's really unusual. Um, so wish her the best. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on with the rest of this card.